Toss the Tank Engine and Friends, Wooden Railway Adventures, Episode 45, Frank and Fred the Orange Coal Car. When Sir Topham Hat realized that Diesels were sneaking onto his railway and stealing some of his items, he became very annoyed and called a meeting with all the engines. Most of the engines had arrived, but he still had some, sent some other engines off to do some of the work. It had been about an hour long meeting, and all the engines were ready to get out of the meeting. In the end, concludes Sir Topham Hat, if you see any suspicious diesels that you do not recognize, please let me know. Anyway, this meeting is over. Frank was very happy. Oh, he said, this this hour of tor- this hour has been torture, he said. I'm glad it's over. But Sir Topham Hat wasn't done. Oh, wait, everybody, he said. I forgot one more thing. But Frank had had enough. Oh, he said, I'm tired of this. I won't stand it any longer. Sir Topham Hat will just have to continue the meeting without me. And he puffed away. I'll get started on my work, he said. Then Sir Topham Hat will think of me as a very useful engine. He came into the yard, and all his trucks for his goods train were laid out nicely for him. Oh, said Frank, whatever engine has done this for me, I must thank gratefully. They've saved me a lot of time. Fred was one of the trucks on Frank's train. He wanted to play a trick, but Frank knew what was going to happen. Okay, troublesome trucks, don't play any tricks on me today. I'm not in the mood for it. So please don't, otherwise there will be consequences. But Fred didn't listen. Come on, guys, he said. Let's play another trick. We gotta show Frank who's boss here. And it's certainly not him, said another troublesome truck. Exactly, said Fred. Come on. Frank thought he had the trucks under control, and he let his guard down, which was a mistake. Unfortunately, he came around the bend to a three-way switch. The far left switch went to Ellsbridge Station, where Frank was supposed to deliver the trucks. Unfortunately, he was going backwards, so he couldn't tell directly which way it was. When the trucks pushed him onto the center line, he thought he was going the right way, until he saw the far left track and he wasn't on it. Oh no, said Frank. Stop, you silly trucks. He applied the brakes hard, but it did no work. Frank, Frank went onto the turntable and banged in one of, into one of the turntable walls. The trucks piled up in front of him. The trucks piled up in front of him. They giggled and laughed. Frank didn't think it was so funny. You silly trucks, he said. You've caused serious confusion and delay. Gordon had been stuck in the meeting, so Mike had gotten the chance to pull the express. He was enjoying it greatly. Hooray, he said. This will, de- this will be a day I shall remember for a long time. But it wasn't what he suspected it for. He came around the bend and he saw the big pile up on the turntable and the wall that had been knocked onto the track. Oh no, said said Mike. I'm gonna I will remember this day, but not in the way I want to. He came across the track and he banged into the turntable wall. The tr- he was pushing the wall along the track. Suddenly his front wheel went up over it and he was derailed. But luckily the cup- coupling snapped and the coaches stayed on the rails. Meanwhile, Mike went thundering through a field. Whoa, he said. Help, someone stop me. Just then, there was Lori with a flatbed. Lori didn't see him coming, and Mike smashed it to the flatbed at full speed. The flatbed was in smithereens. Mike's tender was on its side, and Lori and Mike were very shocked. Mr. Topham had arrived at the scene very quickly. Well, he said, this is quite an interesting accident. Lori, next time move your flatbed out of the way. Mike, I suggest you stick to rails. And Frank, remember next time you don't let trucks put you on the wrong track. You can see it can lead to a pile up in here. And by the way, why did you leave my meeting early? I'm sorry, sir, said Frank, but I found it very boring. Oh, since the top of hat, that's a shame. I was gonna let you I was gonna tell you that you didn't have to pull your truck today. I was gonna let you help with the docks. Frank had always wanted to help with the docks before. Oh, thank you, sir, said Frank. Once I clean this mess up, I'll get right on it. Sir, but Sir Topham Hat laughed. You won't be pulling. You won't be at the docks for a while, said Sir Topham Hat. You can stick to your truck pulling here. It seems that you like it a lot, and the trucks like you. Frank knew he was being sarcastic. And Frank also knew he had done a very silly thing indeed. Oh, well, said Frank. I guess I'm just going to have to wait to work at the docks some other day. And, of course, everyone knew he would.